So generally, you can try to keep. Um, well, you could try to keep the white preserve on the paper if you want. I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> so one thing is, you might want to have like a wet paper towel next to you uh, to clean your finger off, and then make sure you have a dry one. You want it to be totally dry. So don't touch this with anything moist, right? Other than the moisture that you normally have in your hands, because it will leave fingerprints. It will leave something in there that you can't get out. So the white, oh, I'll put a little more on here just so you can see it. White will really tint the color, it'll lift it back up, but it's also going to give you this opacity. Notice how it really changes. Now, again, traditionally, pastels are done dark to light. But with this paper, it doesn't hold very much, so I would suggest doing light to dark, or you may go back and forth. Um, you, know, you could put, like if you're doing a highlight, you know, I can put that on the last and not rub it in, something like that. Which was I using? <laughs> okay, so notice that it does, it really does that. It makes it very, very opaque. Okay. Um, let's see, the last one is just to show you, you can also do something where you're doing mark making and I need to make another sample. These things are all getting, it's coming off. Um, but doing marks over the top, right? So you don't have to just have something that's very smooth you can actually do some, some strokes over the top. Um, especially since this is expressive, you may want to do something like the Van Gogh, right? Where there's lots of um, marks that are, that are put into the, in that case, the painting, but you could do it with, with this drawing here. Um, this here is just to show you that if you're working something really dark, so this is black, just a swatch of black, um, and this one I sprayed, there are two swatches. This one I sprayed with workable fixative. I let it dry. This one I did not. And so you can see what happens with the white. The white's going to mix with that base color of black, right? It's very dusty, very soft. It's really going to mix. Here, it settled the particles a little bit. That allows me to put white over the top. Um, now, if I rub it in, it's going to dull down. But it, it will allow me to get a lighter value just by doing that spray. Okay, so if you want to build layers up, you can do that. Um, and your workable fix will be fine for that. Um, let's see. You do the line with the pencil. In the previous one? In uh, this one, yeah. So, that, thank you for saying that. So the, so the other thing I was going to say is, you're going to start with pencil, right? So let's say that I have a line here. So this is a pretty dark line. So before I go over, unless I know I'm going to do a dark color, I would make sure that I take an eraser and I lightly erase this. I still want to see my line, but I want it to be a lot lighter. Okay, or you can be very light-handed, right? Something like that, you're not going to see as much. What's the purpose of it? The line, so for drawing your face. Oh. Yeah, so when you draw your face. Um, start with that and then you can um, you can then erase. Now, you also want to be careful that you're not pressing real hard or using a hard lead pencil. So if I if I do that, if I just scratch it here, right? So I have these scratches that will go in there. And that'll happen with like an HB if you press too hard. And then those are pretty hard to get out. Maybe if I rub really hard, but you still can kind of see them in there. Okay, so just be aware of that pastel will show. And charcoal will, will too. Once we do charcoal, which is next, you'll have, want to be careful with that. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, so let's say, let's say I want to make a background here. So now what I can do with the pastels too is I can take it, if I'm going to um, try to make an edge here, I can take it and I can drag along this to really try to define this more. And we'll do this when we do charcoal. And you can reshape your ball. Notice all the dust here. Um, you just want to make sure that you don't blow this into the air. First of all, you can you can use it to rub around. So that little bit of dust you can use and just move that around to get it more solid. Um, but you definitely don't want to blow this into the air, especially with a bunch of us working on it here. You're going you're gonna to have little dust clouds of pastel. And they become toxic. One's like this. This is cadmium. Cadmiums are very toxic. Cadmium, this is probably also cadmium, possibly yellow. Um, those, and they're not toxic. They have them on your hands, but if, if it's Airborne and you breathe it in, then it becomes toxic. Okay, so just just to be aware of of that. So what you do is just kind of you can do that, and then just like that. That's all you need, and then it's fine. Uh, a lot of 
actually in the past still artists will work like this. They'll have it on the easel and, the, and it will be slightly inclined like this so that when you work, the pastel falls not down the paper, but off. Because what'll happen, let's say I did black in this background, right? And what'll happen is I'll see little bits of black if I have it on, on the easel here, on the um, drying horse, it'll roll down into this lighter area. So that's the one thing you gotta watch with pastel. Uh, okay, let's use... Uh, Sorry? Um, with this one, you, you can't really because um, I don't think you can do an, an incline like that on these, these things. Just gotta be careful as long as possible. So the same thing here, I can do this, just drag it. So see how that really defines that edge? By just pressing, I'm pressing hard on this edge here. And you might find that you have to, you know, if you're sitting down, you can spin your paper like this on, on your drawing your drawing board. Okay, and then of course, you know, this if you do the background like this, it goes on pretty easy. So pastel can be very quick because it can I mean, you can cover territory very very quickly with it. Rub this in. Again, your finger really is going to work the best. Now, if you have, let's say you're doing a small area and um, your finger can't quite get in there, what, one thing on your list was those um, blending stumps. So if you use a blending stump, that will help. The only problem with those is generally those take a lot off more than they, they do blending. Um, they work better when they're really dirty, but they will, you'll see they will take a lot of the pastel initially off. You have to kind of rub it around a little bit. Um, Okay, and then let's say that I wanted to drag a, another color over the top of that or something. Uh, let's do some purple. So I can, I can leave this as texture, right? You just drag it. You just leave a background that has some texture without rubbing this in. So that's where that first, that first one comes into play, where you can do something like that. want to before I do this I can feel it's kind of slippery. I mean there's there's a lot of the base is still on there so it'd be better to kind of rub it off a little more just so you get get it to not mix as much. Okay, so I mean that's just a suggestion for backgrounds or whatever. Um, so you have to deal with the background in your piece. So if you're doing your face, remember you can use symbols or whatever you want. Um, you can put yourself in a scene, um, but don't just have your head and no background on there, or don't just do a head and one solid color for background. I want you to be creative with this. Think about, you know, make it fun. Something you can do that's interesting. It doesn't have to be personal, okay? You're, you're just the model for this. You're just the head for this. Whatever you do with it doesn't mean that it's something about you. I mean, it can be, but it doesn't have to be, okay? You just be totally imaginative. All right, any questions? Um, pencil number six, maybe? Uh, I would use a probably a 2B. Okay. 6B is going to be really dark okay. and soft, so 2B is better. Yeah. So 2B, 2B is softer than an HB, yes, which is the equivalent of a 2, I thought. HB is the number 2 pencil, and HB, I mean, you could use an HB, you just have to be light-handed, because mm -hmm. that one, I have seen that scratch the paper quite mm -hmm. a bit. So yeah. 2B is a little bit better. 2B. And again, and like I didn't erase my line here, but I was using dark colors, I don't see it. If I used yellow, right, that's going to show through the yellow. Okay, so you can think about it like that too. If you know you're going to be in a light area, just take an eraser, erase it first. Once you hit it with pastel, then kind of out of luck, then you got to go through the pastel to get at it. So do that first. So we're going to need a piece of newsprint also? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you don't have to, it's just, I, if you want to clean things off, or, or like I was saying, before you start, if you have a new stick, before I go onto the paper like this, let's see, maybe I've used this one, yeah, like that, see how it's uneven? Mm -hmm. It's best to take like a nice piece of newsprint and just do that so you know that it's going to be all nice and flat here. Okay, and then it's good to clean it off. So how long are we going to work on these? Beyond uh, today? Today, and then on Tuesday, we'll do a quick so you have today and then the weekend. 
So do we need to fix it when we're done? Or? You can. I mean, I haven't shown you how to spray. If you want to, you can bring it in without spraying, and I'll show you next week. But okay. basically, the idea is if you're going to spray, it has to be upright, about 12 inches away, and you're just misting it. And you mist it. Don't get too close. No, no wet spots at all in there. You just want the spray to mist it. So, and it's still going to be, even though it's sprayed, like this one I never sprayed, that's all going to come back up. But um, if, you, if you spray it, you're still going to be able to get stuff on your hands. So the spray doesn't totally seal it. It just helps the particles to settle. All right, let's get started. I'll come around and help you. Need help?